Well, we are here at beautiful Okeechobee and it's the first day of practice and I can't get away from this dude, man. Cody Meyer makes me, look, it's day, look at the boat ramps, Cody. You see all these fancy people, all, we got 80 competitors in our, in our field and Cody Meyer wants to sleep in all the hey. time. Hey. I don't, yeah, I, I did actually this morning. I was a little tired, but uh, that's what you get from California kid, man. I'm I'm trying to be good at this tournament stuff, and here we are, like late to the boat ramp, man. Come on, Cody Meyer. <clears throat> the good thing about today is we're gonna have like 85 degree weather, and I know you guys sitting at home, you're like, man, I wish I could be in Florida. It, it must be nice. Yeah, it is nice absolutely it is it is nice so we get to soak around in the sun today but here's the deal <clears throat> practice is today okay so first day of practice we get two days of practice we already know coming up friday which is the first day of our event uh we're gonna have 35 mile an hour uh winds okay we got 35 mile an hour winds so what do you do on a day of practice when you got, you know, in the makings 35 mile an hour winds? Now we got, like at Lake Eufaula, we were faced with four, four inches of rain. So we had to adjust our practice. Are you just gonna dump it? Yeah. Okay. We were, we were arranged with four, four, uh, four inches of rain. So here at this event, we got 35 mile an hour zone. So, I kind of know the main lake is already going to be trashed. You got to play the direction of the wind. So we know the wind's going to be coming out of north. So if you're ever prepared with something, you can't go and practice, say, like the south side. You could, but with a 35 mile an hour north wind coming, the south end's going to get trashed. So we're trying, I'm trying to play the wind. You got to, it's like a chess game, you guys. You got to, you got to stay ahead of the, uh, you always got to be four or five moves ahead. So today we're trying to play the chess game for practice by staying four or five moves ahead of the ball game. B-roll so it looks pretty in films and get you some drone shots. Here's your drone shot. Here's your drone shot. Drone shot. Got to get you the sun shot. Got to get you the boat shot. The truck shot. And then I got to play some music for you. Yeah, because that's just what you do on YouTube. You do all that fancy stuff. So we got to do that fancy stuff now. I'm here. Faster break. <clears throat> My man just ran like 30 yards. Do you really think that saved us a daylight bite? Yeah, Come on, man. You ran 30 yards. See this? See this? <laughs> yes, look at this. Look how my, it my man has cereal Got a box. eating mini wheats. You know what? You need to be on the cover of that box after catching 30 something. How much did you catch it? You follow? I ain't, I ain't David Dudley famous. Uh, man, you are. I think there you are right there. No, oh that's Jordan Lee on that box. You, my man, are not two pounds, by no means. It's pretty good though, getting in the area. I just turned on the camera and I've had like, dadgummit, that would have been a five minute penalty. Dang. There he is. Mm, mm, mm. Little, dadgummit, you threw a dollar away, buddy. I just saw them, that whole bush shake right there. Dang, go on. Oh. 
Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That was really cool. Just le just learned something there, guys. That's a keeper. What the heck? About to lose one of my poles here. Mm. Daggone it. Just learned something there. Pretty cool. Actually, very cool. That was definitely a keeper. And what I ended up doing was putting a, just a giant, um, giant stick bait on. One a lot bigger. See that? That's a giant. And the first bite I get on it is like a two and a half, which scoreable bass or money. So that right there, I've set the hook like maybe 10 times. No, I don't even know if I've set it 10 times. Let's see, let me think this out. I've set the hook like three or four times, five times. Let's just say five times. Three of the five have been two pounds or better. That's extremely good. Like, that's like very good odds. There he is. He's got it, swimming with it. He's coming out here to me. He's over here, over here. See if I can lift him up maybe. Oh, he's a little one. Oh, yeah. that was a little one. Uh -huh. I wanted to come over here and test these lily pads. I don't think he's going to make it, but <clears throat> I wanted to come over here and test these lily pads because we got bit on those reeds. <clears throat> there were some lily pads in this area. And we got bitten at one thing of lily pads, but I just, I figured they had to be in this too. It's just a lot of fish in this area. And they seem to be about on every piece of kind of cover there is. Not a big one. I don't even know if he's gonna be, he probably ain't even gonna be two pounds. Darn. He interrupted my, I was almost taking a leak. Well, I was taking a leak. I hope he didn't interrupt it that much. I don't even know if I can use the footage. I'm gonna say 112. Let's see. Uh, 113, 114. Dang, you had me screaming big one. Dang gummit. All right guys, it's getting like late in the day and I wanna to explain to you what I have thought, my thought process of today. So we know 35 mile an hour winds are gonna be coming and it's gonna be a cold front so we know it's coming out of the north. And today is Man, it's been calm. I've had my shirt off all day. It's 85 degrees. It's calm. So I decided on day one. So if you're ever in a tournament situation and you look at the forecast and you got, whether it's four inches of rain like we had at Eufaula or you have high winds coming and you know the direction that it's probably going to be coming, on Lake Okeechobee, it's like a big bowl. It's just a circle. It's just a big bowl. And I'm going to show you here on the map what my thought process was because I was trying to, you know, I know high winds are Saturday, Sunday, and then I fish again, hold on, I fish again Sunday. So Friday and Saturday are very high winds. Sunday, it's gonna taper off a little bit. So my thought process was, hey, 
I need to look for a projected Sunday fishing area, even though I know it's gonna be trash. So look at this. So as you can see, Okeechobee is just a big bowl, right? It's just a circle. I put in, so it, north wind is gonna come across the lake like this, right? Okay, so it's going this, this way. So this is what they call the south end. The south end uh, down here, that waves are gonna build up tremendously and come down here and just pound these pockets. So if I was to zoom in a little bit and pull this down, this is the south end. It's gonna be like boom, boom. I mean, it's gonna hit it hard. Now, we had some success down there today. You guys saw me uh, catch some down there today. Now. What I've done, I actually put in here today. I came out, now this is the side that's gonna be protected, okay? This north side, what they would call the north side of the lake. I have to find fish here, but as you can see, I came all along the north side, just riding, spot checking, spot checking, spot checking. And then I came over here to what they call JNS area. And then I came over here and went down south. And then I checked some down here around Ritta, Clewiston, Observation Shoal. And as you can see, this is really the only area that I have left to do. So projected forecast, I'm trying to weigh my options. So like I just explained to show you on the map, I went and looked at what I needed to look and now that I've accomplished what I want to accomplish pretty much looking at the lake tomorrow I can settle in on some northern areas and try to finish out a limit there uh, not a limit but figure out a place to catch some fish on the northern side 35 mile an hour that's that's right tough oh gosh Oh gosh. There's one. That's a big one, boy. That would be good for the uh, big fish derby. be Instagram time. Wonder how big that sucker is. That is a big one. Big one. Five four. That looks like bigger than a five pounder though. Tag on. I don't understand why I can't catch none on moving baits, man. Moving baits. Got my, maybe I can try a different trailer. Actually, here's a, here's a pretty cool, look at that color. Ooh, look at that color. Green pumpkin green is probably my favorite. Got green pumpkin. What do you think I ought to try? We got black and blue. We got black and blue. <coughs> sapphire there's a guy actually this this guy is not a sponsor of mine but he does a lot of custom baits and i got him to build me some houdini <coughs> color houdini color trailers and of course we got green pumpkin and green pumpkin green is one of my favorites so i got him to build me some of my some of that those colors he custom builds things you can check him out actually right there if you'd like to get you some but these are some really cool colors b and m b and n custom baits and we're gonna go with my green pumpkin green i just don't understand why i can't catch one on a moving bait everything seems to be tucked up and everything seems to be tucked up way up into the uh shallows i don't know
Thank you. Mm, mm, mm. That's a good one. Wow. That's Instagram time. I wanted to shake him off. I kind of felt like he was a big one. Get this picture for Instagram. Man, that sucks. I came in this area to check i think the north wind is going to be too much for this area so i wanted to see how long it would take me to get bit like in this area and as soon as i got to the area i got bit right away uh and again big cinco big bass man all right guys here i am it is getting close to nine o'clock at night. I fished till the very end of the time period that we could fish and I did right good on a swim jig out in some open water. I didn't get that on film. You guys saw me flipping most of the time which is what I had planned on doing and right at the end of the day I caught some on a swim jig and I think I'm actually going to start on that. We got there really no high north winds. You guys saw me try to prepare for that that's coming. Uh, I'm sitting here in the gas station right now just rigging tackle up underneath this light here because um, I know where if I get to waiting until I get home I'm going to get distracted so I've been actually rigging tackle I got everything from flipping to swim jigs to bladed baits to a lot of other, other things anyways guys I hope you enjoyed that I hope you guessed right on some of the uh, uh, multiple choice that I gave you guys thank you for subscribing thank you for tuning into this channel it means a lot the support that you guys have given me you guys supported me all last year which ultimately helped me win angle of the year you guys have my back and so tomorrow is day one it's nine o'clock I'm sitting in a gas station park a lot rig and tackle thank you for your support and take two <laughs> that's <Bang>. awesome. <laughs>